hi developers out there welcome back in this clip we are going to work on how to redirect to paystack checkout page and to achieve that is pretty very simple so the first thing i'm going to do here is to click on this run button so then i will now copy this link then let me create another tab then all right having done this so let me try to input uh, or fill in some data here let me just put a uh, 1000 here for instance and uh, when i click on this button pay with paste tag button then I have this uh, stuff sent back to me. So what we actually need here is this uh, authorization URL, authorization underscore URL. So as you can see here, first we have uh, this uh, JSON data. So we have uh, this uh, data, then after this data, we can now use this data to access uh, this uh, authorization URL. So to achieve that, let me go back to our Replit. Then, as you can see, we have uh, this in our response. So, the first thing we need to do now is to convert this what we have here from JSON back to an object. So, to achieve that, I will have uh, this JSON dot pass so this actually converts from this into an object so that's it and we have our variable here data so we have a this data here then if you look at our response, if you look out, uh, at the response we get from Paystack, you can see we have a data here. So we grab this data first. Then have it there. Then let's go back again. So to get this, uh, URL we have here this is a checkout dot paste because we want to redirect to this a URL that automatically being generated by paste so all we need to do now after grabbing this then we now look for the key and the key is authorization underscore URL then this is the value so we copy this and have it here dot Data dot, dot authorization underscore URL then dot authorization underscore URL. So here yeah, now the pay result here yeah, now as a state variable will be updated. Actually, we don't need this much, but just to show something. Actually, so let's go back to our browser and try to click on this button again as you can see we have successfully gotten what we are looking for so is this a url we want to get and we have successfully achieved that so the next thing we need to do now is to actually redirect our user to that checkout page and to achieve that this is what we are going to be doing so we just have this a uh, window window dot location dot href which goes to what we have here so what we have here then just a return So after doing this, 
then we can decide to either comment this out but we are going to leave this uh, state uh, variable so let's go back to our browser and try to click on the button again so as you can see we have successfully be redirected to the checkout page you can see now we have this and the one thing i need to also remind you is that in our back end we have uh, this uh, url here so you copy this url then you log in to your paystack uh, dashboard and when you log into that you will see under your api keys and the webhooks we are seeing the test mode of course and there what we have here you can see this test in test mode callback url so what you that a url where you want to be direct redirect to your verified page then you just copy get the whole url and you paste it as you can see uh, so you can now save it so having successfully uh, updated it then everything should work fine so if you follow the tutorial so far so you can now start you know the customer can input their card details and then when they do that so and then for instance now okay let me quickly try to do something here we are having 10 naira instead of 100 naira so let me come back here and then where we have a value we can say times 100 and save it all right then if i should retry it again let's go back to the page so if i should fill in some data again let's say this time around 1000 and i click on a button you can see now i've been successfully redirected and the value now the amount is now 1000 good so the customer can start filling in their card details and their when they click on this button the customer will now be redirected back to the our own website which is this a uh, reply what we actually supplied here this part so and they will be redirected to that part and uh, as you can see here now we have uh, some data being supplied to us in our query string as you can see here so this data is very, very important so we are going to see how to make use of them in our next video tutorial so the next thing we are going to do now is to actually work on our routing so we are going to install react router dom in our next video clip so thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you are new to this channel